Well, Tony Newsom of teaching maths and a budget of millions, do the sums, and what it doesn't equal is success. A damning new report shows the way primary school children are taught maths is too confusing and it's failing Kiwi kids. Andrew Morrison has the details. For some children and parents today, just the word maths can cause a headache. If you like keep practicing it, it gets easier. I don't understand it myself because it's very different to what I was taught. So I'm going to make this equation simple. We changed the way schools teach numeracy 15 years ago, costing taxpayers 70 million. But a new report shows that's equaled New Zealand children falling behind. Our results are going downhill. Other countries are getting better, especially Asian countries where they put a lot of emphasis on the basics. We've been trending downwards for more than a decade. Our 15-year-olds especially aren't making the grade. Two years behind our counterparts in China, but still around the average in the developed world. The report says we're teaching too many strategies to solve basic problems before tried and true methods like rote learning. If you think 100, 100 years back, I mean, our teaching methods produced Einsteins, so they probably weren't that bad, really. It's really a question of how well schools are meeting the balance between learning basic facts and teaching those skills. The report also slams the ability of many primary school teachers, with research showing one third of new teachers can't add two fractions together. The report suggests we adopt a new certificate of maths competency, but one union disagrees and says the focus is too narrow. We wouldn't be asking a doctor to show us a certificate for giving injections. You know, it's the same kind of thing. Actually, we're professionals, we're doing our job. The current system forced some, like Caitlin Ruddock, into private tutoring. It seemed very backwards from the beginning, so I feel very overwhelmed by which strategy to work with. And tutoring services have been inundated. I do think we need to go back to the basics in terms of making sure they've got their number in place, their times tables in place. I actually see a lot of children leaving primary school without their times tables in place properly. And that seems like a problem that requires some strategic thinking. Andrew Morrison, One News.